finished it. Hello friends, you are welcome. Before we begin today's tutorial, please find the link above to download and subscribe to Filmora Wondershare. It comes with a special discount for you. Enjoy. Welcome. I'm using only two videos for this tutorial. First, I drag the first video onto the timeline, then move the playhead forward to the 420 mark. After that, I right-click and go to Speed to apply a freeze frame as shown. Now, reduce the freeze frame to 4 seconds. Then, split the freeze frame at the beginning and at the end. Then, delete the extra part as shown. Click on the freeze frame to ensure the playhead is at the beginning. After that, right-click to copy it. Then, add a new video track and paste the freeze frame above as shown. For the freeze frame above, go to the Effects panel, search for the border effect, and apply it as shown. Next, click on the freeze frame, then go up and apply a keyframe to transform. After that, move the playhead to the end, then go up and set the scale down to 85 and rotate to minus 3, as shown. For the first freeze frame below, go to the Effects panel, search for Square Blur, and apply it. After that, click on the freeze frame, then go up to Effect to increase the blur size to 4. Now, go back to the Effects panel and search for Aesthetic Atmosphere Overlay. You'll see a variety of options to choose from. I dragged Aesthetic Atmosphere Overlay 06 above, then adjusted it slightly to fit into the gap on Track 2, as shown. So, I went up to the Transitions panel to apply the Flash Transition, then reduced its duration to 20 seconds. After that, I previewed the result. To create another one, I dragged down another video and moved the playhead to the 1315 mark. I right-clicked, went to Speed, and added a freeze frame. Then I reduced the freeze frame to 4 seconds, split it at the beginning and at the end, and deleted the extra parts as shown. Next, I copied and pasted the freeze frame above as shown. Now, I went back to the first freeze frame on the track 1, right-clicked to copy the effect, and then returned and pasted it to the second freeze frame, as shown. I also went back to the first freeze frame on track 2, right-clicked to copy it, and then went back to paste it on the second freeze frame on track 2, as shown. Next, move the playhead forward to the beginning of the gap on track 2. Then, go up to the Effects panel, drag down Aesthetic Atmosphere Overlay 03, and reduce it to fit into the gap below, as shown. Lastly, apply the Flash Transition, set to 20 seconds. After that, go back to Transitions and apply the same Flash Transition to the middle intersection as well. Then, click on the last transition selected, and then go up to Apply to All to make the durations the same. Now let Preview. After previewing, I decided to click on the last keyframe point of the freeze frame above. I went up and changed the rotate value to 3 for a different look. Then I previewed the result. Have a wonderful day. You're the best.